Hello and welcome to Mini Discoveries Episode 2. I'm in the studio because it is freezing outside and it's actually quite freezing inside as well. So uh, that in itself is a mini discovery. Today I'm not going to be going very far to connect to nature. I'm going to be going about three meters in that direction and I'm going to set up a feeding station for birds and also a single squirrel. I've already got lots of bird feeders positioned around the garden, but I decided I wanted a central feeding station, mainly for taking photographs so I know the birds are going to be in a same spot. As you can see, the feeding station has worked. So we've had plenty of visitors there. There are a variety of foods that you can put out for the birds that will attract all sorts of species. Black sunflower seeds are a good place to start, or if you don't want any kind of mess, just the sunflower hearts themselves. That's mainly what I use here, and they all get eaten. Niger seeds are much smaller, sort of piddly little seed. Um, they attract goldfinches and siskins, so they're worth giving a shot. You need a special Niger seed feeder though, or else they'll be so small that they'll just pour out of a standard bird seed holder. Peanuts are a great food source for birds. At the moment I've put them out just loose on the feeding station. Definitely don't do that as we move into uh, February, March, the breeding season, because then they will become a choking hazard for the chicks if they're fed. So in the breeding season, only put peanuts in the kind of peanut feeders. Suet blocks, fat balls are great, and they can even make your own. Again, Ecosapien has a video all about how to do that. If you're getting fat balls in those horrible sort of mesh bags, cut them out of that, get rid of the mesh bags. You don't want the birds getting tangled in them. We should tackle the big B word, bread. Can you feed bread to birds? Yes, it's not gonna kill them. It's not gonna do them any harm, but it does contain barely any nutrients. It's kind of like cheap filler, almost junk food. So include a little bit of bread as part of a more varied diet if you want, but it's better if you can avoid it and switch to something that's much more nutritious. Obviously not everyone is lucky enough to have a garden and I appreciate that. So this is where you should go in search of natural feeding stations. One of the best ones are fruit trees, crab apple trees, Crab apples will keep their apples well into winter and often there's blackbirds like plucking them from the trees and below there's a scattering of apples on the ground where you might have wood pigeons there. So yeah, on your socially distant walk, just take a, a slow walk past any natural feeding stations you see and yeah, appreciate what creatures are there. Tell the good people we're setting up a feeding station because soon it's the Big Garden Bird Watch. Yes, it is. Big Garden Bird Watch RSPB survey. Yeah. Fine. We'll talk more about that next week. <laughs>